Matt Brown from Matt Brown's Guitar Studio and the band Dead Parade. We are going to look at Ain't It a Shame by Nirvana in this one. So another Lead Belly tune uh, that is very, very similar to uh, the one we just looked at. They hung him on a cross. So um, a lot of the skills that you learned from that one are transferable here. All right, so this one in standard tuning again, in the key of E again. Uh, I'm going to break down the intro and then get into the, the verse section. So uh, the verse is, uh, or sorry, the intro is pretty simple. What we're doing is we're doing the, the boom chuck that I talked about in the last lesson. So the strumming of the, the low root and then the chord right afterwards. What we're going to do is do um, on three and four and we're going to do uh, an E to an E minor, and then two strums of the E chord again. So that's what it looks like slow. I'll do the whole first measure slow. All right, so we're gonna do that three times. Then the fourth time, we're gonna do the strumming pattern that we're gonna have for most of the song, which is. So we have one, two, three, and four. And what he's doing is mainly strumming the, the low end of the chord on the one and the rest of the, the chord on the two, three, and four in. So for the, the form of the verse, um, it's exactly the same as um, they hung him on a cross with a few differences. So let's let's talk about all of that. So our main strumming figure this we're gonna do that with an A, uh, sorry, an E chord for a total of six bars, and then we're gonna do it with the, the B chord. All right. So the weird thing about this one, I, I think he uh, just forgot what chord is supposed to come, like whether the four chord was major or minor. So the first several verses, what he does is he plays an E chord. In the first several verses, sometimes it's just an A power chord, sometimes it's an A chord with, uh, you know, the second string in there. Um, about when you hit the, like, 58 second point, where he starts doing the verses where he's like, you know, doing the, the palm muting type stuff, that's where he starts playing an A minor chord. Um, and from those verses on until the rest of the song, he's playing A minor in that spot until the rest of the song. Okay, so after this A chord of whatever type, we have the E chord. Uh, then uh, we're, we're doing the uh, B chord. And then, you know, it, it repeats again. So, um, as I kind of alluded to a second ago, one of the other strumming uh, variations that you're going to hear is this, like... Kind of thing. That's what it is slowly. And, and what it is is just a one and two and three and four and rhythm. And on the one and and the three and, you're doing the lower parts of the chord, or you know maybe just the low string. And then the other parts, you know, you're, you're strumming the higher parts of the chord. And you know it doesn't have to be really exact. You know it's not like we're playing territorial pissings or anything. All right, so uh, really that's all you're gonna wanna do for the hung them on a cross. You're not gonna wanna do any kinds of like, you know, bass walks for this one since there is bass to it and the bass player is gonna be handling all of that. All right, so um, if you'd like the tabs, just, just yell at me or subscribe to the Patreon. And uh, uh, please, you know, like the video and subscribe and all that good stuff. So uh, I've got plenty more coming for you guys, lots of guitar and lots more bass lessons. All right, see you around.